Hello YouTube, this is DIY Electronics. Today we are going to be covering an RC circuit. The R is for resistor, the C is for capacitor. As we may know from previous videos, resistors can resist or limit the flow of current in a circuit and a capacitor stores electric current for use in the future. And when, when used together, these two simple components can be used for many interesting applications such as timing and creating oscillators for various frequencies. If we know these two values, R and C, we can calculate the time constant of the circuit. The time constant is denoted by the character zeta, zeta or whatever, which is this little C looking thing here. And this is the formula. Um, the time constant is the time taken in seconds by the capacitor that is fed from the resistor to charge to a certain level. The capacitor will charge to 63% of the final voltage in one time constant, 85 in two time constants, and 100% in five time constants. If you gain the percent charge, if you graph the percent charged against the time constant, the result is exponential expressed in this graph below. Um, all right, now let's actually get into the actual circuit and see the voltage change. Um, our time constant will be well, with the circuit that I got set up here, I got a uh, 20k ohm resistor and a 1000 UF capacitor. And um, our time constant will be R times C, which will be 20,000 ohms times 1000 microfarads, which equals 20 seconds expressed here. Um, it'll take 100 seconds for our capacitor to reach 100% charged and our voltages will be at 20 seconds at the 5 volts um, from the power supply we'll have 3.16 volts at 40 seconds we'll have 4.25 volts and at 100 seconds we should have 5 volts um, the schematic for the circuits right here it's basic got a power supply an electrolytic capacitor and resistor and then going to ground um, this is the actual circuit set up on the board, and I know you cannot see that. Um, basically, they're just connected in line, going on a little loop. Um, for this, I'm going to uh, first off, we're just going to show on a oscilloscope the charging in. And if you can see that, you'll see that the line's slowly moving up. Um, this is a one volt scale roughly and the little green line moving is the voltage rising I need a better video and it should stop in a couple of seconds right around there -ish. So it's fully charged. All right, now let's take this and apply a voltmeter and a timer and watch it. And see if our time over here matches what we actually get. Now it's gonna be a little off because my the resistor is uh, rated at um, 20,000 ohms, but actually only 19.84 so it should actually be 19 point um, or 19.84 seconds but I just rounded up to 20 turn a voltmeter on to DC volts you can see that and that's actually still at 1 volt so we need to discharge that capacitor do some metal across it and my power supply is back feeding so we'll just Stick that there for now. Um, and get our timer out. Okay, and you can see that. All right. So let me turn the power supply on and discharge this capacitor for the last time. And and one, two, three. And those off. Great. All right. 
Let's charge that again. All right, three, two, one. And at 20 seconds, we should have roughly 3.16 volts. We're at 10 now, we're at 1.5. Alright, 2, 2.5 at 18, and 20 seconds we were at 2.8, which is not too bad, but still, you know, good ways off. And at 40 seconds we should have 4.25, which I think we should get. 40 seconds is 4.1. I didn't catch the last number. And as you notice, as the time's going on, the the charge rate's slowing down. And in the two time constants, we got 85% of our voltage. And then the the next three time constants, it's gonna take 60 seconds to get the other 15% of our voltage charged into the capacitor. Um, So we're looking at minute 40, it should be completely charged to 5 volts. And we are about 2 seconds off, but that was pretty close. Um, there you go. That is RC time constants. Thank you for watching the YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe and um, share your support and click on ads.